Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. Abila David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show us how to create a cross tabular report using a powerful VLOOKUP function. So let's get started. Now we have the sample data, okay, and the data is already formatted as an Excel table. We have the table design contextual ribbon tab, and we have provided sales underscore data as a descriptive table name now let's come to the result sheet now over here i'm going to deploy some dynamic array functions such as sort and unique which are basically available in microsoft 365 and excel for the web okay so for this i want to extract all the unique states to be in each of these our rows and of course we're going to extract each of the unique sales manager to be in our columns so let's come to cell a3 equal sign sort function press my tab key deploy the unique function press my tab key now the unique just like sort requires array which is the input value or the first argument and the only compulsory argument anyway that one extract unique value from and of course sort by default in ascending order so for my array i don't need to come to this source data because my data is already formatted as an excel table so we can take advantage of the structured references syntax only available in excel tables so for that i'm going to just put the table name on the underscore data press my tab key open a square bracket and i want to point to the state column close the square bracket close unique and close sort so when i press f9 boom we can see all the unique states in alphabetical order with a semicolon now when i press ctrl z and i deploy ctrl enter it's gonna spill to the neighboring cells below so ctrl error now we have all the unique states here to the neighboring so these are just the spill ranges but this is where the formula actually starts from okay now let's do the same thing to extract the unique sys manager and at the same time sort them okay equal sign sort unique then the table names sys underscore data press my square bracket and i'm going to point to the sales manager column close the square bracket close unique and close sort then i press f9 to evaluate we have the unique um sales manager's name okay in alphabetical order okay now we also have the semicolon so when i press ctrl z and i deploy ctrl l so it spills to the neighboring cells below but we actually want it to be in columns so i'm going to just come to the main cell where the formula start from and i deploy f2 to put the formula in edit mode and come right after the equal sign then just deploy the transpose carefully function in there press my tab key so when i just close my formula and i deploy f9 to evaluate we have the same records now in this case we have the commas okay which means it's going to deploy that to be in each of the columns so control z and control enter so this is looking awesome now let's go ahead and come to the source data just to create what I call an upper column. Now, upper column will combine the values in states and sys manager into a single cell of the new column that we want to add. So let's add a new column, Control Shift plus sign, and let's name it. Now, I need to name it exactly what we have here. So let me just copy this so that I don't make any mistake. Okay, that's very key. Just paste. Okay, let's just widen this. No, it's not compulsory. Now, in cell D2 equal sign, I'm going to just click on this value in cell B2. Now, this is a structured references syntax points to this current row. Okay, so I'm going to use the ampersand, then I close, I use an ampersand sign again to concatenate that with the value in cell C2. Okay, so when I press um, F9 to evaluate, we can see it's going to deliver combination of London with a space. Abiola David, which is London Abiola David. Control Z, Control L. Now we have it, it's you know spills. The formula copies down because we are working in Excel tables. Now I need to just follow this same structure. Okay. Now let's come. 
Okay, so let's see how to build this cross tabular report using the powerful VLOOKUP function equal sign VLOOKUP. Now for the lookup value, I'm going to click on cell A3. Use the ampersand sign to concatenate that split. I just want a space inside this draw rotation, just like what we had here. And I use an, another ampersand sign to concatenate that with the value in cell B2. Now, because I'm going to copy this formula across, I need to ensure that the column A is made absolute. And of course, because I'm going to copy down the formula, I need to ensure that the row number two is made absolute. So let's just fix this. Okay, F4, 1, 2, and for the A3, F4, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is mixed cell references. Okay, now that settled the lookup value. So let's evaluate by pressing F, um, F9. Now we can actually say Albata Abiola David, which is Albata Abiola David, control Z. Now for the table array again i don't need to come to the source data all i need to do is to point to the table name and the specific columns that forms the table array so let's start sales underscore data and i want two square brackets so the first one i want to point to is sales state sales manager press my tab key close the square bracket and i want a colon another square bracket and i want to point to the last column which is sales amount press my tab key close that up and finally i close the other square bracket which is this first one and that's fine comma so when i try to evaluate this by pressing f9 you can actually see a bunch of results now we have the name of the state sales manager's name the cost um customer category the item name and also the six amount then we have a um, semicolon there it starts again and again so this is the way it works okay so press ctrl z now let's go ahead let's follow our guide so the next input value we need to supply is the column index number arguments so for that i'm going to make it to be dynamic so i'm going to just throw in the new x match of course we can even use the old match function to find the relative position based on our local value in a lookup array so for this i'm going to just throw in the x match which performs an exact matching okay so let's just move this down so for the lookup value i want to look up this value in cell a2 make it absolute reference so that it doesn't move across and down when i copy the formula then comma so i want to look it up in this array which is sales square bracket and i want to point to the headers okay then i close the square bracket right and of course i don't need this match mode and search mode because it is an exact matching by default so close the formula comma now let's just evaluate this so when i press um, f9 boom we can see that this state sales manager is located in the position number four okay press my tab key comma now for the range lookup we want the exact match which is the same thing as false or zero anyone is fine then i close the vlookup formula now when i deploy f9 boom it's going to deliver sixteen thousand four seventy two dollars as the value for Alberta and Abiola David. Let's control Z and control enter. So we have the value ready. So let's copy the formula across, just like I said, and let's copy the formula down. Amazing. So we have our report ready. Let's just try to eva um, check whether we are actually correct or not. So we have retrieved all this sales amount based on the state and the sales manager. Let's just check this Sydney and even Matthew. Let's come here. So I'll enter this to just um, point here. Alt down arrow key. Let's choose Sydney and um, okay, excuse me. Alt down arrow key. Let's just uncheck everything and check Sydney. Okay, and um, for the sales manager, let's point to even Matthew. 
uncheck everything and even math it boom we have two five four thousand five six two which is exactly what we achieve here two five four five six two this is cool so basically this is how we create a cross tab report using a powerful vlookup function i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please do subscribe to my youtube channel give some likes and comment in the section below thank you bye for now cheers